Hey there, YouTube. Wrestling Optimus here. And first things first, join Dark Order. But seriously, I have a very special video for you today. It's going to be a combination unboxing, build, and reactions video. That's because I finally got something that I have been waiting for AEW to make since they started putting out action figures. And that is the official AEW pop-up entrance set. This thing's apparently going to be humongous. The box is already pretty big. And it's going to require a lot of assembly. Let's just take a look at the box here. And as you can see, it works with the normal size AEW ring. But what's interesting is I do plan on getting the full scale ring that comes with Ref Aubrey in the near future. We'll see how that scales to this entrance set since it's designed apparently to go with the smaller ring. Quick side note with the recent news, Cody Rhodes, oops. It does appear that you get six interchangeable event screens that go up here on the Tron. It's all four pay-per-views as well as Dynamite and Dark. That tells you about when this was being designed because there's no Rampage or Elevation. We see here, assembly required. It says that a couple of times. Uh, from some of the other videos I've seen online, there's going to be lots of assembly required. And that gets me to the second part of today's video. While I build this, I'm going to be reacting to AEW Elevation and Dark. So sit back and let's build this bad boy. Looks like we're starting with women's trios action as Ty Conti, Anna Jay, and Red Velvet take on a bunch of jobbers. I believe these are going to be the entrance tunnels. And if you ever have time, go back and look at when I built my own custom stage, and you'll see that for tunnels, you do have to cut it in these really weird shapes to actually make it fit in there. Okay, so it says that we'll be able to complete this in four not that easy steps. Mm, here we go. Here are the event screens. So we got dynamite. We got full gear, we got all out, we got revolution, and we got lowly old dark. Wow, this thing really is big. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fit this thing on screen. But, here we go. And predictably, Anna J, Ty Conti, and Red Velvet get the victory. Specifically, Anna J used the Queen Slayer. Yeah, it's a pretty basic uh, insert tab into slot design. It's relatively strong cardboard for like a toy, but like it's not great. So definitely be careful. Don't want to kind of break any of these tabs. All right. So we have the uh, kind of bottom of the stage, I guess, and then connected to the tunnels. And we can always flip up the uh, the Tron there. It is nice that at least for now, while you're building it, that kind of folds down. It looks like we're gonna bend these down and then we're gonna connect this front part of the stage. While we do that, it looks like the Gun Club, Austin and Colton, well, the Ass Boys, if you're asking Danhausen, 
are going to be uh, teaming with 2.0 to take on a whole group of choppers. I will say with some of this stuff, especially just kind of how some of these joints work, if you're not used to kind of putting together cardboard boxes for like moving or whatever, um, there's just kind of common ways of doing this. And if you're not familiar with them, it could take you a minute to figure out. But for the most part, if you do know them, this is easy. All right, I'm going to put the front of the stage on before I go working on the Tron. With this, you want to bend these tabs in first at the front. And that way, when you bend this around, you can stick the tab in from this side. Some people do that the opposite way, and then it doesn't work. It is awkward though, and sometimes it feels like you need three hands to do it. See, when I build my stages, instead of these intricate tabs, I just duct tape everything together. Oh, and there you go. I guess Daniel Garcia was in there too. So it was a 10 man tag match and he gets the submission victory on some nameless jobber. All right, and so far we got the uh, kind of stage set up, so it's time to move on to the Tron. So right now I'm just working on these kind of bottom corners here with my hands, and then you can't see it with the camera. And this is what I was talking about when I said sometimes it feels like you need three extra sets of hands to make this stuff work. So I feel like I need three other people stabilizing this gigantic thing while I bend all these parts. I feel like ever if I really want this to be solid, I'm gonna have to use duct tape anyway. All right, now we got to build this little step. I think I got it finally. I will say at this point, my critique is that it's flimsier than I was expecting, but it's also bigger than I was expecting, especially for the money. It was around $30, so... Yeah, you're getting a massive, massive stage for $30. Uh, it looks really good. And uh, you get all those trons, but they should have made it from slightly better materials. By the way, we're now watching Carly Bravo and Sean Dean and some other guys. I think Baron Black's in here. Taking on a bunch of members of the Hardy family office and another multi-person match. As you would expect, the AHFO, or whatever they're called, uh, won. And uh, Matt Hardy's been walking out on people lately, so he got, went to walk out on Isaiah Cassidy and them. And Isaiah started uh, celebrating with Andrade. 
And commentary said maybe Isaiah's found a new mentor. So I don't know, man. Is there dissension with Matt Hardy? All right, I think that's one tunnel down. These things are actually pretty complex. Hey, we have our first singles match as Ruby Soho is taking on a jobber. And it's a pretty quick squash. Ruby Soho wins. And now we have Lance Archer, who, per usual, is throwing his opponent all the way down the ramp to the ring. And, wow, that was, that was a fast squash. I think he just basically powerbombed him and was done. <laughs> Getting a video package here for Kira Hogan. All right, we got that video package because it's Black History Month. She apparently has a song on that Black History Month album that benefits go towards uh, the Bootsy Collins Foundation. Bootsy Collins, famous uh, funk bassist. And uh, she is now in action with Sky Blue and somebody else taking on Emmy Sakura, legit Layla Hirsch, and Nyla Rose. Oh, it's Kira Hogan, Sky Blue, and AQA, the new signing. All right, now we're gonna add the uh, kind of semicircle background here to the stage. All right, so far so good. <laughs> Your results may vary. Now, honestly, what may be the hardest part, which is the tunnel. I'm gonna take off that noisy tissue paper. We got two strangely shaped tunnels. And the reason that they end up having to be so strangely shaped is because they have to be longer on one side of the tunnel than on the other. That's basically what happens. And that's what I realized when making my own tunnels. Again, go watch my video and you'll see all the issues I had with that. <laughs> But this is gonna work pretty much the same as uh, that, you know, part of the stage we just did. I think it's best to kind of start on one side, put the big tab in, and then put all the smaller supporting tabs in as you fold it around. Layla Hirsch wins beating Sky Blue. And then I think the final step is to actually kind of insert it into the front tunnel here. There you go. Our next match, by the way, is gonna be the Wingmen. I'm guessing it's gonna be the Peter Avalon, JD Drake, and Cesar Bonone version of Wingman, accompanied, of course, by the Hollywood hunk, Dolph Ziggler's brother, Nick Nemeth. Uh, this is Ryan Nemeth. And they're being joined by Chaos Project, Luther and Serpentico. Oh my god, what the hell is Luther wearing? It's like an all-black bodysuit, but with the one shoulder cut off. Very strange. I mean, Luther's a strange guy to begin with, but jeez. We're gonna flip this around. And work on this side.
All right, and they are taking on Jay Lethal, Big Shawty Lee Johnson, Frankie Kazarian, Matt Seidel, and Brock Anderson, accompanied by his dad, Arn Anderson. This is what it looks like in the back. See, we're just kind of popping these tabs in here. Now we got all those tabs in there, as you can see. By the way, feel free to bend those tabs just to make sure that they stay secure. I always recommend that. And there you go. Don't know how much I can show on this camera here. But that is the stage. It does look really cool. It is much stronger once you finally get all the tabs in, but I still think it could be a little more sturdy. Um, I'm definitely gonna secure it with some tape just to make sure that all the tabs stay put. According to the packaging at least, this is three feet, 36 inches wide. And I think it's about two feet or so tall. So um, if you're gonna be putting it in any type of setup you have at home, just keep those numbers in mind. Um, I'm probably gonna have to completely reconfigure my entire setup just because I believe my current stage is only 32 inches. Um, and that is literally as wide as the table I'm using. So um, I might have to make some sort of setup where this can kind of hang off that table a little bit. Real quick, and in the back here, there's just some kind of thing at the top and bottom. So you're just gonna slide this over and there you go, AEW Dark. And let's try AEW Dynamite. AEW Double or Nothing. It really is that easy to slide these in and out. Um, these are probably 18 inches across and probably about 8 to 10 inches tall. So, I mean, these are massive, massive plates. Here's the full gear one. They're really cool. And I think just like if you print out a logo on a regular sheet of printer paper, it's probably going to be about this size. So you can obviously make your own for things like Elevation or Rampage or maybe Beach Break. But that is all of those. This is the stage. Again, I'll raise it up so you can kind of see. We got that uh, step in the front here that I really didn't anticipate. The whole thing is a little bit cumbersome to build, but once you get it all together, it's really cool. Definitely something fun to build, kind of like a Lego. I also hope you enjoyed watching Elevation with me. This didn't take as long as I thought, so we didn't get around to regular dark. But yeah, let me set this aside. And that'll do it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to do all that normal YouTube stuff. Smash the like button, share with any wrestling or action figure fans you may know, subscribe to the channel, and spread the word. You can also talk to me over on Twitter at WrestlingOptimus, or see all my best figure photography over on Instagram at WrestlingOptimus. If you haven't seen my latest video, you can check that out right here. But until next time, I've been Wrestling Optimus, and I'll catch you later.